of the questions we've been asking for many weeks concerns routine medical procedures. Should you have them during the COVID-19 crisis? As the state begins to reopen, normal surgeries and procedures are once again happening. Here's Channel 3's Kara Sundlin. As things start to open up, there are people who need to get medical care and it's been put on hold. And men especially are not always the best about being proactive about health. I'm joined by Dr. Jared Beanick. He is the medical director for Men's Health at Hartford HealthCare's Tellwood Urology and Kidney Institute. Thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. We have often reported that men are not always the most proactive, but especially in this time of the pandemic. What message do you want to get out there to the guys? I think it's it's important to, you know, first off, we're in the pandemic still, so you still need to look at recommendations from the state and federal level. Make sure you're practicing your social distancing, wearing a mask when appropriate, uh, doing the things that we have to do, following up with your doctor when you can, remotely, virtually, so staying in touch with those healthcare items that are important to address. Don't just push off the blood pressure or the chest pain or severe you know, uh, pulmonary symptoms, possibly even COVID, uh, because those are things that still need to be addressed. So reaching out to your doctors, seeing how you can stay in touch, recognizing how your, your physicians and the hospitals are trying to keep you safe as well, engaging in those behaviors, and still kind of watching where we are in that pandemic and, and practicing the, the guidelines that are recommended. Right. Important message not to wait, and especially now you can really do it virtually with so many ways. What about surgeries? Yeah. Uh, how are they being reintroduced? Uh, so a great question. So at Hartford HealthCare, we, we, I like rephrasing or, or stating what our CEO has said is that we, we, we're not reopening because we never really shut down. So it's been a phased slowdown to move to a, emergent surgeries during the height of the pandemic. And now we are beginning to cycle back up with urgent and, and more elective cases that have been put off. So we, we've built a new workflow surrounding uh, patient and employee safety. So we have required COVID testing before any surgical procedure. The patients are then asked to quarantine for the few days between that test and their procedure. We still have a no visitor policy at the hospital. So we're having family members drop off uh, patients before surgery and pick up uh, really at the curbside after surgery when appropriate. Um, really trying to practice as much as we can that social distancing, continuing to wear masks uh, and do all those things in the hospital that we can to prevent transmission as well. Good information so people know that it is safe if they need care. That's a message I know you really want to get out there. Right, certainly. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me.